hopefully oh yes i see it and here comes lolita again okay oh i see us we are officially live on facebook here we are everybody oh my goodness the anticipation of the celebration of the goddess book has been real you all oh my god david what the heck is that okay i don't even know what that is but i am really wanting to know what that is maybe later okay welcome everybody <laughs> i am laura defranco the ceo of brave healer productions where we publish world-changing wellness books, including The Wellness Universe Guide to Complete Self-Care, 25 Tools for Goddesses. And this is the fourth book in the Wellness Universe series. Joining me today is lead author and founder of The Wellness Universe, Ms. Anna Pereira, and our amazing expert authors. These women and David, our holistic alternative healing experts, teachers, coaches, therapists, and all around amazing people who are here to help you understand how to transform your life and live the life of a goddess. They are going to be able to help you do this. This book is amazing. Anna, tell me about how this whole experience with book number four was for you. Laura, thank you so much. First of all, I want to say thank you for being our uh, publisher of this book and taking this journey, this being our fourth book. And I want to big a, give a big congratulations and kudos to our amazing author team. I had a big vision for this book. Uh, I held off with this theme until we were at book number four and we had some traction in our self-care book series. Um, we went from stress relief to happiness to achieve anything now to goddesses. And this specifically was so important for me to get out into the world because of my personal experience and what I've experienced through going through life and developing into, um, you know, a, a woman at this point and um, selecting our team and then allowing them to write what they were passionate about and what experiences they went through and how their lives have changed and transformed through their personal experiences, through everything from trauma and abuse to successes, to loss. And then they share this tool. I actually, in this book, you know, I waited for the book to be complete, to read all the chapters before I was reading pieces of it and to read the whole book at once and to go through it and, and read all the experiences and to really get to know our authors on another level because I already know these beautiful women and of course, one man, David. Um, it, it was just, it was mind blowing. It was moving. It was transformational. It was more than I could have possibly imagined. Oh, well, welcome Rochelle. Uh, and so I just, I just, I was completely moved, blown out of the water, and also um, very, very honored and blessed to put this together with this team. And I was also very happy to finally contribute to the book, to one of the books in our series. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh my goodness. So she isn't really talking about how big of a deal that was, that little piece she added there at the end in two seconds, right? Like, so wrote an entire chapter, really offered a vulnerable story, which is, I think, one of the marks of a goddess to be able to do that. Um, and so I'm going to say thank you, Anna, to you for you know, saying yes to that, because it takes a little bit of a warrior to share your story like that. Authors, thank you so much, not only for saying yes to this particular project, but for stepping up like that as well, sharing your authentic stories. And then, of course, your master tools, which sets these books apart, I believe, because we know as authentic healers that uh, what we do is we don't fix people, we guide them, we empower our clients to find the inner healer. And when you are teaching your master strategies and practices and lessons and tools and all the beautiful things, that is exactly what you're doing. And that's what this book is, everyone. It's incredible. Please purchase your book today. Buy it for the goddess you love. Oh my gosh, the holiday gift potential here is outstanding. Um, so 
I can't wait for everybody to meet our stellar author cast. And I am going to, you know, do the good old alphabetical order and start with our introductions. Everyone, please let me introduce you to the amazing authors of 25 Tools for Goddesses. Dell, you are going to be up first. Are you ready to roll? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dell Eddie Jones, and I'm the founder of The Way Out of Codependency and Narcissistic Abuse. And the title of my chapter is A Spiritual Solution to Low Self-Esteem, Reclaiming Your Inner Goddess Through the Principles. And a quote for my book is, feelings of lack and comparison come from the personal mind, full of insecure thoughts and negative chatter. However, when we settle into our true nature, ideas of less than and not good enough melt away. Awesome, Del. Thank you. Ooh, I love, I'm going to start to get goosebumps every time you guys read. I love hearing the quotes, such, such powerful words from these authors. Ingrid, you are up next. Are you ready? Hi, yes, sure. I'm Ingrid Auer. I'm from Austria, from Europe. I'm a spiritual teacher and an angel expert. And, you know, there are energy centers in the female body that are closely related to the imprints and experiences of our lives as women. But did you know that you can strengthen and balance your female chakras by the help of angels? How this works, I explain in my chapter, your angel team, clearing their baggage and blocks with divine assistance. Thank you for being part of this amazing book. Thank you, Ingrid. Okay, we have Pat Bell up next. Pat, are you there with us? Are you ready to introduce yourself? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm the author of Chapter 12, Through the Fire, How to Keep Moving Forward. And I'd like to share a bit from page 105 this morning. Your suffering has caused trauma and scarring. It's the scarring of the soul and mind where eyes cannot reach. Face it but do not allow the trauma to wound you mortally. Even on your most trying and difficult days, choose to step out of the fog. Thank you. Awesome, Pat, thank you so much. All right, next up is Stephanie Bailey. Hi. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Um, I'm the founder of Misadventures. I'm a self-love expert and coach. Uh, my chapter is number two, a self-love revolution. And my quote I'm sharing today is facing our traumas clears our emotional and mental clutter to allow space for happiness, health, wealth, abundance, and the love we deserve. Awesome, Stephanie. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Next up in our amazing expert author goddess cast is Nicole Batiste. Are you ready, Nicole? Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole. I'm an intuitive and attuned inner life coach and I founded Be Well With Nikki and I created a method. Be Well With Nikki, I'll share just something really quick. Um, as the sun started to shine brighter on my life, I realized that the most important relationship you can have is the one with your mind, because I really focus on how you use words to move yourself forward or keep yourself stuck. So with that, I will end. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Yeah. Carrie Doubts, so you are up next. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. So I am a spiritual resilience coach. I work with people going through major life transitions, going through uh, one myself. My uh, husband passed away in this year and uh, I wrote about this. So I'm, this is from my chapter, chapter 11, uh, becoming suddenly single, becoming me after being we for so long. So I'm working on finding me after being for a we for such a big part of my life. Tom and I had plans. Now those plans are tossed on the scrap heap and I'm working to create plans of my own that will address the questions that face everyone after a serious rug being pulled out from under you experience. Why am I here? What do I want? Who am I? So, thank you. 
Powerful questions. Thank you, Carrie. Okay, we have Lolita up next. Are you ready? Oh, yes. And first, thank you so much for all of you being this amazing part of this amazing experience, goddesses. And I wrote the chapter 10, where I explain how I forgave my alcoholic father. And I want to leave you with one sentence from my chapter. We can interpret someone's behavior as something against us. But in the same way, we can explain that behavior as something that has nothing to do with us. Hmm. Thank you, Lolita. Okay, so pausing for a moment, because as you all hop over to Amazon today to pick up your goddess book, um, we have some pretty darn cool giveaway type of stuff going on. And I'm going to turn it over to Anna for a minute to share about that. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, others who have read so far and introduced yourselves. Um, so we have some amazing gifts and prizes. And just for being here live, if you're on the Circles of Inspiration page watching this right now on Facebook, type the word live. If you're watching this between the 10 and 11 time, we're going to pick um, five random people who are uh, watching us now, just type the word live. And at the end of the hour, I'll be picking some people and I'll be messaging you. Um, and then if you are purchasing in the next 24 hours, actually 25 hours until noon tomorrow, if you do a purchase, send in your receipt to events, E-V-E-N-T-S at thewellnessuniverse.com. And then we have over almost $4,400 in amazing gifts. And that's coaching, one-on-one -on -one calls, uh, eBooks, memberships, um, sessions with many of the coaches here. I'll, I have all the prizes listed on the event page and I'll be posting them, um, posting them again on Circles of Inspiration after the fact. So you have it in the live. And we also have goddess treasure boxes, which are uh, contain a hand signed book and a ritual kit, and also an additional several thousand dollars worth of coaching and sessions and everything else. So if you um, want to win any of these prizes, please make a purchase today. The digital copy is just $1.99. The paperback is $22. And send in your receipt to events with the S at thewellnessuniverse.com. And I look forward to handing out 40 prizes by tomorrow, a little bit afternoon, once we get everybody's uh, receipts in. So thank you, Laura. And thank you everyone who sponsored some amazing gifts to give away for our launch party. Thank you so much, authors. Oh my gosh, the prize potential is real here today. And it is like goddess up leveled like what the heck so i'm just like smiling here because i'm seeing all the people type live 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 <laughs> thank you all to all of our live stream uh watchers today fun right you have some real amazing chances to win some pretty pretty cool prizes and um while i'm saying thank you to all of you who are watching i'm also going to say a quick thank you to our book launch team, these books do not get into the world like they do without a really amazing, dedicated and committed launch team. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't really say it enough. Um, we are very grateful for you taking the time and having the interest, reading our brave words, and then come back to help us create um, in this particular case, a multiple category, number one Amazon bestseller. Yeah, right? Yippee. Um, so congrats to all of our authors for that um, amazing accomplishment. And thank you to the launch team that makes that happen. So let's do some more introductions. Lydia is up next. You ready? Hi, I'm Lydia Kaleshnik, also known as Lady Epona. I'm a chronic health specialist and health and energy coach. My chapter is chapter 15, Reclaim Your Health, How to Never Be Tired Again. And my quote is, everything that has a front has a back. The bigger the front, the bigger the back. 
<laughs> nice. I wasn't ready for you to finish so quickly. Awesome. Thank you, Lydia. Okay. Uh, I'm noticing that our next author, unless she snuck in here, Donna Leighton is not here today, right, Anna? Okay. So I want you all to know that Donna wrote chapter three, Forgiving My Molester, How to Achieve Mental and Emotional Freedom After Any Trauma. Donna, thank you so much for being involved in this project and we're missing you today. So next up on, in line is Rochelle and I saw her sneak in here, right? Yep, there she is. Ready? Girl, you know I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Rochelle Marie Lawson, known as the Queen of Feeling Fabulous. And I have the pleasure of being with all these phenomenal ladies. I'm sorry, let me rephrase this, and phenomenal gentlemen as well as goddesses. Uh, and I'm not sure what you call a dude, but I guess he's a goddess too. Um, but anyways, I'll just keep going. Anyways, I am chapter 25. I close out this phenomenal book. And what I want to share is, uh, for one, I'm a dream lifestyle transformation facilitator, entrepreneur extraordinaire, um, and I help uh, all of you to unlock your bliss so that you can step into living a life of your dreams by balancing the pillars of wellness, wisdom, and wealth. And so the quote that I want to share with you this morning is, be patient and trust in divine timing for all things in life are by divine timing. Let go of attachments to specific timelines and time frames for things to unfold because the divine has your back and everything in our life happens by divine timing and by divine design. And that is all I have to say this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rochelle. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is for sure the divine timing and the divine energy with which this book came together was real for me too. Um, okay, I didn't see Birgit pop in while we were chatting, so I want you all to uh, meet the <laughs> author of chapter 18, Birgit Luters, Balance Your Power, A Goddess's Physical, Emotional, and Spiritual Strength. So Birgit, thank you so much for being involved in the project and we're missing you today. We also have the author of chapter 16, Rosemary did not sneak in here, right? While, while I wasn't looking. Okay, so Rosemary Levesque wrote chapter 16, Beyond Words, Feel Instantly Powered Through Sound. Um, thank you, Rosemary, for being a part of the Goddess book. We're missing you today. And that means Miss Carolyn McGee is up next. Hello, everyone. It's my honor to be here with all these amazing gods and goddesses. Uh, my name is Carolyn McGee. I'm an intuition coach and uh, creator of the Sacred Haven Living, uh, which is a way we use everyday events in our lives to heal and propel us forward so that we can live life in abundance and joy. My chapter is chapter 20, Own Your Battle Goddess of Compassion. And what I'd like to read from it, from my book here, is a piece of my journey was remembering how to communicate with angels and animals. As I allowed in the unconditional love of the animal kingdom in the divine world, I felt unrestricted love and acceptance for the first time. This allowed me to expand into unconditionally loving myself. I found myself drawn to the powerful goddess energies, but was fearful of their strength and presence. I wasn't present enough in my energy and body to accept the support of the strong, independent goddess energy. So by reading my chapter 20, you will find out how I did it and how you can too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. Okay, so uh, all of you watching live, hit the share button for us right now, would you? Like, let's blast this out all over goddess land and see if you can take a, just a quick moment, share this beautiful live stream with all of these amazing people. 
onto your timeline or wherever you can share it for us. We greatly appreciate that. Something that we did early on with the Wellness Universe book series is created, Anna created the Wellness Universe book club, which is um, a public group on Facebook where you can come rub, rub elbows with authors, take the conversation to the next level after you read a chapter, all of that good stuff. Anna, tell us a little bit more about the Wellness Universe book club and what you've been up to over there. Sure. So we talk about books. We talk about the Wellness Universe books. The authors are there. They can engage with the members. We have a little over a thousand members, I think, at the, in the book club. And um, we post inspirational posts. We post the blogs that um, are written by the authors and the members of the Wellness Universe over to the book club. And uh, we just you know, have a really great time. It's a nice place to engage. So I encourage everyone to go and search out that page. And I'll also load that link in after we're done on the live. Awesome. I may, I may have a, um, Alex doing that for us. So oh, she'll get great. on it. Thank <laughs> you. I, I think what's happened to Vanessa. So <laughs> thank you. Wait, wait, want, I love them. <laughs> yes. It takes the village. The village is, is making the magic here. And, and speaking of that, we, you know, part of the mission here at Brave, Brave Healer Productions is to have a community after you've read the books. You know, how many times do you read a book and you're getting these amazing nuggets, but you get to the end and then there's a, well, now what? Well, we actually have a now what for you in so many different ways, but the Wellness Universe Book Club is one of those. Now what? Well, hop over into that community and you can ask questions or make comments about the chapters that you've written. And of course, when you read these chapters, Every author that you see here today is very generously waiting for you to reach out with your questions, reach out if you need support and and be a warrior about that. I know sometimes reaching out and asking for help is is the hardest thing to do. Get over it and reach out because you are about to meet some of your newest best friends and coaches and life transformation vehicles. We are all staring at you right now, everybody. Okay. And that is what these books are. You don't have to put that on your shelf and wonder now what. So that is one of my favorite things about these projects. Seriously. David McLeod, you are up next. You ready? I am ready. I'm always ready. Or I try to be. <laughs> Well, hi everybody, my name is David McLeod. I am your Life Mastery Coach. And you might well be asking, what is a man doing writing in a book about goddesses? Well, I had that very question myself. And um, I spoke to Anna about it. Anna encouraged me. She said she would like to have men writing in this. And this is, this is part of our challenge in the wellness universe and the whole world is to see more men showing up. And Really, in my mind, we are all divine beings. We're all spiritual beings having a human experience. I've heard, I'm sure you've heard that expression before. And that's really what my chapter is all about. I, I contributed chapter 17. It's called Shadow Spotting, a tool for soul liberation uh, and, uh, sorry, a tool for soul illumination and liberation. And really what I have noticed in my own life is that as we start out, we're really vibrant, almost very divine, childlike beings, and slowly society piles stuff onto us and we take on beliefs and we end up hiding all that amazing beauty under all this darkness, under all these shadows. And so part of what I wanted to offer was for people to learn a way of peeling away some of those shadows and understanding where they came from so that you could have a conversation with them, learn what they're trying to do for you in your life, and then take that information out and, and just start showing up as the divine being that you were always meant to be. And this doesn't matter whether you're male or female or anything, we are all divine beings. So I hope you all will read my chapter and enjoy it. And I hope you men who are listening, start stepping up more. I'd like to see more of you. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying being surrounded by amazing, beautiful, fabulous goddesses. So thank you all. Thank you, David. Okay, next up with these amazing author introductions is Angela. Are you ready? Sure am. 
So hi everybody from Wales. My name's Angela Medway Smith and my business is called Cariad Spiritual. Cariad's a, a Welsh word that means love or sweetheart and that's how I approach all of my work. I'm a psychic medium, spiritual channel, healer, teacher of healing and um, developing your intuition and life and soul alignment coach. Not forgetting um, retreat leader. I've got some amazing goddess retreats um, coming up in autumn in the Caribbean. So my chapter is the chapter 13, the rainbow waterfall, clearing negative energy in two minutes. It's a really simple tool that I've taught many of my clients and students over the last 35 years and really can make a huge difference to, to your daily life. So I'm going to read again from the book and David took some of the words out of my mouth as well. So we're all quite aligned here. So developing your soul connection isn't rocket science. It's very simple and it can all start with taking responsibility for yourself, for your own energy and with it your own destiny. The Rainbow Waterfall is the tool where you can begin this journey. We are all powerful, divine beings made in the image of the Creator, gods and goddesses. Take control of your energy and remember that. And so a huge thank you to all of my author colleagues and Anna and Laura for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Okay, Jennifer Moore, are you ready? I am ready and I am delighted to be here with everybody. It is such an exciting day. So my name is Jennifer Moore and I'm an empathic mentor and the author of Empathic Mastery and also a master trainer for EFT International. And my chapter is 24 and it is entitled Sugar Freedom Using EFT Tapping for Food Cravings. And where I think a lot of the chapters are more about mindset and about really embodying the divinity. I decided to write a chapter that was about the things, particularly sugar addiction, that can really keep us from being able to embrace and become the goddesses we are capable of. And I share my very raw and real story of what it was like to basically have sugar like grabbing me by the throat on a daily basis. So I just wanted to share a little bit of my chapter, which was from page 220. And I wrote, as I write, I realize there is a partially eaten six-month-old chocolate bar in my desk. If someone told me at 23 that I'd stop eating M&Ms by the pound because I wouldn't even want them, I would say they were lying. And that's what this chapter is about, having freedom from sugar. And I'm incredibly grateful to be here with all of you. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, next up is Tina. Are you ready? I am. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Anna. This has been an amazing journey and meeting all the goddesses and God along the way. I am Tina Plantius. I am a spiritual life coach and yoga teacher. I support people in finding joy, confidence, and living their best life. A short quote from my chapter is, Today, outside opinion doesn't matter to me. It's my body, my rules. I love my body so much and I love it for me and no one else. And that is from chapter eight, Go to Bed Like a Goddess, how one nightly affirmation can spark gratitude and change your life. And you can hear a little bit more about my story and how I came to that quote in that chapter. Thank you so much for your support. I love you so much. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Our next author, you guys couldn't be here today, Dr. Pamela Poston, and she wrote chapter 14, how you can be a gritty goddess, claim your inheritance and live a life you love. Pamela, thank you so much for being a part of this project. We're missing you today. Next up is Debbie. Are you ready, Debbie? I certainly am. 
Thank you, everybody. This has been such a joy. So my name is Debbie Prediger. I am from Alberta, Canada. I am the founder of Empowering You Community. And my chapter is chapter six. It is called Empowering You, Stepping Out of Fear and Choosing Love. So really what I do is I empower people to remember their dreams, their wisdom, hear the whispers on their heart, in their inner knowing, and to be able to really embody that truth of who they are. Uh, just a simple paragraph that I'm going to read. You know, it's really hard to choose, but I come to this. Wow. Now I was fired up. Did you know that you could raise your frequency just by using an essential oil? Our thoughts are energy and they are also on the frequency scale. In fact, we can't find a solution to a problem if we don't raise our consciousness because the answer isn't on the same frequency as the problem. It was all so fascinated and it totally resonated with me. I paid close attention to where I was on the frequency scale. I was feeling all of the emotions now that I'd been running from. Thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. I have my Arise diffusing as we speak. I love my Arise flavor of oils. Um, so Anna, we had some pretty cool chicks add some words to this book, including our foreword, which you can read right on the cover, Miss Karina LeBlanc. But talk about those connections and some of the goddess quotes we have inside. Absolutely. Thank you, Laura. So what was another thing that was important to me was really to frame um, extraordinary women who are actually ordinary women with what their experience or what their thought around what being a goddess is. And it was interesting to include quotes from from some some pretty spectacular women who have achieved some major things in their lives. Um, in the front of this book, it was something, a new, a new twist on the series that we have done so far. And I actually got some feedback that <clears throat> just putting those quotes and those thoughts in the front of the book helped to wrap your mind around or the reader's mind around really what it means to be a goddess, which helped them and prime them to enter into these chapters and really embody and be ready to absorb the content. So we had, um, I'll, I'll name a few of the people. So Karina LeBlanc, of course, is a, 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 an Olympian, a soccer champion. She is now the manager of a soccer team. Uh, she's just all around amazing, UNICEF ambassador. We have a gold medalist Olympian, um, Vanessa, goddess Vanessa Giles. Uh, goddess Basila, goddess Michaela, goddess Tiffany, uh, goddess Alina, goddess Marie. We have um, Lepa, who actually was in the last book as a sponsor. You just have to read these quotes because some are their personal experience, especially from um, Vanessa, who achieved a well received a gold medal in this past Olympics for uh, being on the Canadian soccer team in women's soccer. Um, but it's really interesting when you get a piece of somebody who you may look up to, who may seem like you'll never connect with this person and you get their real words of what they felt was a powerful and pivotal time in their life of what they, um, when they lived in their unique goddess energy. So these, these are very short one pager quotes or uh, paragraphs, but very impactful. Thank you for bringing it up and shining a light on these women who also contributed to the book, Laura. Yes, of course. Oh my gosh, you guys, these books are such incredible gifts to the world. This one in particular with the addition of those women is that that was a gift to us too, to have them included in the collaboration. The energy just expands when everyone is in, in that energy of collaboration. And this was a badass one. We, I believe, are truly waking people up to what's possible for healing. And I'm so grateful to all of you for being willing to trailblaze that with me. I know you've all had a mission like that, but look what we can do when we come together. It is amazing. 
So Anna, I also want you just to maybe do a brief uh, summary of how people can enter into the giveaway today. And then we have a few more introductions to do. Absolutely. So if you're joining us live on Circles of Inspiration Facebook page, watching it there, if you type the word live, if you typed it live already, you've already typed the word live already, you don't have to do it again. But if you're new, type the word live. And we're going to be pulling a few of you and giving a digital copy away to the live viewers. Also, if you purchase a copy of the book in the next 24 hours by 12 o'clock tomorrow, which is what, Wednesday, Wednesday the 8th, if you purchase a copy, please send us your receipt. Make sure it's time stamped. It could be a screenshot or the actual receipt, whatever you want, to events, E-V-E-N-T-S, at thewellnessuniverse.com. We have over $4,300, almost $4,400 worth of gifts to give away to everyone, um, to 40 people actually. So um, please mail in your receipts and we're gonna do a drawing out of everyone who purchases in the next 24 hours. So send us your receipt, please. Thank you, Anna. Okay, Leah, are you ready? Yes, hi, I, I am so happy to be part of this really awesome project. Thank you to all the authors for your and contributing your awesomeness. I'm Leah Skirdal, intuitive wellness guide and energy healer. And my chapter is the art of jazz living. My quote is integrating the jazz living approach into your life can help you respond to the complex challenges of daily living with more graciousness and integrity of body, emotions, mind, and spirit. So check into my chapter for five spiritual principles from the art of jazz music that we can apply to daily living and live with more graciousness. Thank you, Leah. One of our live stream watchers, uh, Deb's buyers, thank you for that comment. Looking forward to reading it, especially after hearing these introductions. I know, right? Like the power in this Zoom room that we have going on is, is real. Okay, Nance, oh, I'm sorry, Victoria Soto, are you ready to introduce yourself? Hello, yes, I am. I'm so very excited to be with everybody today. This book has been a blessing to me just to be among these great, amazing goddesses and um, the amazing gentleman that is here with us today. Um, my name is Victoria Soto. I'm coming out of Austin, Texas. I am what people would call a health care provider protector and a healing counsel. I'm also the author of some healing books, spiritual books, and professional books when it comes to health care in these United States and internationally. I'm so very honored to be one of, the, one of the authors of this amazing book that I feel has healed me as I read through it and saw the gifts and the tools given by the other authors. I'm going to read the favorite part of my chapter, at least my favorite part, and it goes uh, like this. And you can find that on page 196. And that is, well, page 189 is the actual chapter. And it's called Freedom from Abuse, A Path to Creating a New Life. And my favorite part says, we must all delve into the possibilities of what we are taught may not actually be correct. If you have been taught to put any person above or beneath you, you have been taught wrong. Therefore, moving forward, we must learn that we all have and we all are the same being. We are physically joined together on this planet for a purpose. Spiritually and lovingly, we can choose to think differently and to re-educate one another so that we may have a harmonious life and live it in peace and freedom from abuse. Thank you so much. Buy the book, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Victoria, you, were, you reminded me of something that I wanted to just talk about for a minute. And you said, you know, I healed while I read the chapters. And most healers, first of all, don't even really like the term healer. They like 
maybe the term guide, right? Because they know that we don't heal people. But the thing, the big secret about this is it's a a very generous two-way street. We are opening ourselves up to receive the love and healing from our clients as well. And when the energy moves in both directions, we get to receive. And honestly, it's the only way to serve from an overflow. It's the only way to serve. So we have learned how to receive. And that is a really good skill to have if you have signed up to help the world on this journey that we're all on, right? So there's the secret. I think that's um, why a lot of us do what we do because it is very fulfilling, even from just a pure healing energy standpoint. And being in a Brave Healer production book, that's the foundation of these publications. It's very much part of my mission. And you don't know what you're getting into when you sign up for these books sometimes. You write your story and you share with the world and you're like, oh, holy moly, what is going on? What did I just do, right? And that's part of it is we're trying to hold a healing space for our authors as well because the reader is about to receive the energy going down on those pages. It's really important to publish like that. And so again, thank you all for, you know, saying yes, even though maybe you didn't totally realize (laughs) what was going to go down in that process. I know some of you totally knew and that is why, but um, again, can't say thank you enough today. Nancy Stevens, are you ready? I am. (laughs) Well, I'm Nancy Stevens, and I am honored to be amongst such amazing, epic authors here in this book. I, when I saw the title of the the book that was upcoming, I knew that um, I wanted to really be part of this epic, epic, epic epic book. Um, What I specialize in is lifestyle coaching And I have a business, Uplift Clean Beauty Skincare, that is a facet of the work that I enjoy doing and helping all of us cultivate the goddess within ourselves. My chapter is 19 in the book. It is Healthy Vibrant Goddess, and my tool is a sacred daily guide. So kind of everything in this chapter is involved more of the physical, but emotional and having helping each of us to cultivate a really loving daily routine that is the foundation for how we um, receive love and then from what comes out of us. This is kind of my my life work and something that I need, I work on every day. My little quote here is, uh, from from my tool is, it's having a sacred daily practice cultivated with love and done from this place that creates a vibrant, healthy goddess. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nancy. And Sharon Randall, thank you for that comment on our live stream. She says, I loved the energy in each chapter. I received healing energy from the author's personal healing stories. Thank you for that comment. Okay, Dr. Patricia Talbot, you are up next. Hello, I'm so happy to be here among all you awesome goddesses that I've learned so much from in this powerful book. My chapter is chapter five. It's called the Legacy Journal Story Keeping for the Ones You Love. And this work comes out of my work these days as CEO and founder of Blue Roads Education Group, where we cultivate homegrown change makers, just like the goddesses in this room and goddesses out there in the world who are tuning in right now. And I just want to share the opening couple of sentences of my chapter with you. Story keeping, storytelling, and story making are central to our lives as human beings. We naturally collect the surprising, touching, and even the traumatic moments that happen to us and store them in our memory banks for later reference, sometimes consciously and sometimes not. Thank you, Patty. Okay, let me come back here. And I believe last but not least in our, in our introductions is Ms. Stacy Wharton. Thank you for being so patient. All the W names, I know it's hard. Thank you, Stacy. 
Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. I'm Stacey Wharton. I'm a social worker in Canada. So I tend to work with people who are often at a low point in their life going through, you know, difficult life experiences, some kind of adversity. Um, so I wrote chapter four, reframing thoughts. And my chapter is all about helping people firstly understand, but also break free of you know, harmful or unhelpful messages they may have, you know, acquired through the social world that we live in, um, breaking for, free of harmful beliefs that they may have internalized about themselves and who they are as a person, and then being able to make space for a more loving dialogue um, to live better and, and be who you want to be instead of living according to who the world told you you needed to be. So embracing your goddess um, and a, a quick quote, just give me one second here, I apologize. Though it may be exhausting, it is possible to challenge and reframe your thinking habits, simultaneously em empowering and liberating you. So thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, and awesome. While I wasn't looking, Miss Rosemary Levesque joined us. I'm glad you did, Rosemary. Please introduce yourself. And remember to unmute, girl. Thank you for that reminder. Sorry. Sometimes we get a little technically challenged, right? <laughs> I'm uh, Rosemary Levesque in Portland, Oregon, and my chapter is Beyond Words. Feel instantly empowered through sound. And I work with sound vibration, healing tools that uh, actually are tuning forks among the many tools that I have. And I find that sound helps us remember things that perhaps we have uh, submerged a little bit. So here's my quote. You are much more powerful than you can imagine. You have a super connection to source when you connect through the heart, bypassing the intellect of the thinking brain. Though the brain is useful in helping you to survive, fight or flight, ego, etc. You surrender too much of your purpose in life to it, the brain. In reestablishing the heart as the center of spiritual intelligence, you can become inspired beyond your limiting beliefs. Sound helps you break through that barrier. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Rosemary. Okay, we were just doing a little quick chat in the chat to make sure our iPhone edition person here with us is not an author. Speak now or forever hold your peace. If you're an author, okay, no? All right, good. You know, I don't want to miss anyone. Did I miss anyone today? Anyone still need to introduce themselves? Everyone is good. Okay. Okay, so um, Anna, I know, is going to want to thank a few more people. I just wanted to quickly say thank you to the team, the epic team that pulls a book together, including Alexandra Nason. She's watching on the live right now, dropping links for us. Alex, thank you so much for being beside me during all of these amazing book launches and publications. I said thank you to our launch team, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much to the Brave Healer Book Launch Warrior Group. You all come back book after book to support us, and you are badasses. Thank you so much. Dino Marino, the designer of our book, thank you so much for another beautiful book. And of course, Linda Goldman, who provided the beautiful purple artwork underneath this beautiful, gorgeous purple book. Um, she has provided the art for all of the four books so far. And yeah, there we go. Anna's holding them up. Thank you so much. Maggie McLaughlin, my KDP and Amazon goddess could not do this without you with at least not without a few more headaches. So thank you so much for being on my team for these publications and authors. Thank you again for being willing to share your hearts and your souls on these pages. Thank you for being a part of this brave healer revolution and for shining your bright, your light so brightly into the world. I believe that these books are life-changing kinds of books, and they are for all of us who are involved in this and all of the readers who will pick it up. 
Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for being who you are and doing what you do and bringing that kind of energy to the table. You are all amazing. So Anna, I'm going to leave the last few words today to you and it is all you. Sure. Thank you, Laura. And I just want to say, in addition to everyone that Laura just thanked, of course, I'm backing all that up. I want to thank um, our team uh, behind the scenes over at the Wellness Universe for um, supporting through all of the social media posting and um, getting the word out there about every single one of our authors and everyone on our team, Vanessa Labarca and our blog team and Jenny Tasker, L.E. and Julie. Uh, I just want to say a big shout out to them. I want to say a shout out to my husband for his support. I want to say a shout out to all of my friends and my loved ones for their support. And again, once again, to Laura um, and every single one of you ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't do this without you. I just want to share one little quote from the introduction of, um, and there's so many nuggets that we can pull from this book. And just within one or two sentences, it speaks volumes as every single one of you have shared. But this is from the introduction and it's from the part where it says, fear not being a god, the goddess you are. Um, it says right underneath that the one little set, two little sentences says, life is constantly changing and creates new circumstances and challenges. When we recognize and have an awareness around self-care, we can better and more quickly serve ourselves. And that really is wraps up what being in your unique goddess energy is all about. Because when you serve yourself, you can serve those that you love and the world from a heart-centered place of stability and health and happiness and joy and love. And that's really what I think that we all achieve with delivering in this book everyone. Thank you so much. This is really a dream come true. It really is. And it's a beautiful way to close out this year. So thank you everyone once again. And thank you all of our reviewers on Amazon. Thanks, David. Thanks for holding up the book. And here it is once again. And thanks everyone who purchased the book. And thank you everyone. Oh, thank you everybody for holding up that beautiful book. <laughs> And thank you everyone um, who has purchased and gifted the book. And again, shared about it verbally because this is really how we make impact. It's us sharing our experience with these amazing self-care books and telling our friends, David, what is that? A blue frog? <laughs> he promised he would tell us, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, this is Blue Magoo. I just brought him along for a visit. He's great. I love him. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, everybody. Back to you, Laura. All right. I just want to say a final thank you to our live stream watchers. Thank you so much for all your beautiful hearts and comments and everyone who typed live. Get ready to be entered into the contest, right? Um, and lastly, today, all of our authors, please hold up your book. And I just want to hear one last woohoo! Yay! Bye to the live stream watchers. Thank you. See you guys next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.